Hello, it's Deborah from Asset Lane. At the end of our last video, I showed you these tags and I told you I was going to also reveal the second set of background word sheets I've prepared and which I've used to make these rather lovely tags. So let me show you the sheets. It sounds like fairies, it's just my phone. This is set two of my background word sheets and normally they are four sheets, this time we have five sheets so there's a little surprise at the back of this one. Let me just explain that these are exactly the same as in set one which is on my Etsy store and these will be on my Etsy store as well simply called set two. The way that these have been made is that the the words in the center there's a block of text in here and these are all words related to the theme of each of these pages because each page has its own theme. This theme is entomology. So at the bottom there are words which are in a dark font and they're slightly larger and they are also linked to the same theme. The reason there are different colour fonts is because this is your background and it's in grey so that you can ink this up in any colour because grey is very very adaptable to take any colour that you want to put onto it. These are bolder because that way it will help the words stand out from your background. The way that you use these words is you cut them into strips as I've done here and then you divide the letters, the words up, and then you create your own phrase, or maybe just a little sentiment on the bottom of a card, but they are linked to the same theme. These are spread out so that you've got plenty of space between the rows of text to cut between the text and then cut between the words. The second sheet is called botanical, and that's because the whole subject of this sheet is about the study of botany, grasses, mosses, all sorts of wild flowers. This sheet is called Calming. This is a nice neutral sheet, it's got some nice soothing words at the bottom of it as well, so that hopefully would tie in with a project that you wanted to create, if you wanted to um, to have something that was just soothing and, uh, and gentle and calming and serene. This sheet is Birthday. On this one I've tried to include lots of words that will allow you to make a phrase that's really pertinent to the person that maybe you're giving a card to or maybe you're making them a tag or a little journal. So there's lots of really jolly happy birthday type words on here like celebrate, special, party, wishes and kisses and there's lots of little joining words as well like of, you etc and they will allow you to create a phrase. The final sheet, the bonus sheet if you like, is most closely linked to the entomology sheet that we saw before. So these are specimen labels. Now the reason that I've included these is because I've done these for myself. Uh, I have a little bit of a, an obsession at the moment with bugs and beetles and entomology and I thought these would be a fun thing to produce for me and then I thought it would be even more fun to share them. So you can see that the, each of these uh, three rows has got something slightly different going on. So the specimen written in uh, a sort of a um, a different font to this one which is a typewriter font and then this box is blank. There are two little rows, this has got red rows, this has got solid black rows and this one has got black dotted rows and the idea is that you can print off this sheet and then you can use them for any of your um, entomology uh, things that you might have uh, that you want to make and they tie in with this sheet most closely. So as I say this is a bonus sheet and I thought I'd include it just for a giggle. To show you how I made these tags I'm going to use the background sheet which is called Calming. I'm also going to use my uh, rather old and bashed around Sizzix framelits. So this is a Tim Holtz set of dies, it's really quite ancient. The number is uh, 658784 and it's just called framelits. If it had a name on the bottom at some point I've cut it off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a couple of tags. I'm going to do that by running this through my die cutter. As well as cutting out my two tags I've also cut my strips of words ready so that I can then choose a sentiment or a little message to put on the bottom of my tags once I've completed them. As in the first video I've spray coloured the wild grasses that I found at the bottom of my garden. I'm going to add a little sheet of glassine paper and try not to move the grasses. And then I'm going to fold over a piece of cardboard and using 
a medium to hot iron. I'm going to iron those flat onto my pieces of paper. The paper on which I printed my words, my background words, is uh, a thicker paper than I would normally use. It's 160 GSM. I don't know what that is in pounds, but it's a roughly double the thickness of photocopier paper, a good quality photocopier paper. The heat from the iron does two things. It squashes the grasses down onto my background and it transfers the ink. So you get these really pretty effects, really natural effects on your tags. I'm going to add a little bit more down here and in this space and then I'll show you the result. These are my tags now with their lovely plant impressions on them and I'm going to ink these up. I'm going to use uh, archival ink potting soil. Usually I use vintage photo but I find the potting soil is a little gentler. The colour isn't quite as uh, intense. I find it a little bit more manageable, especially when you're printing onto uh, thick paper rather than onto card. I'm using my foam applicator to go around the outside. And then when there's not too much ink on my foam applicator, because I've used most of it going around the outside, then I'll go in the centre just to tone down the colour of the white. I don't want to make this a consistent uniform brown all over. I just want to take away the intense whiteness of it. That's our tag coloured up. Now I'll do this one. Something else I wanted to show you quickly is once you've used your foam applicator to go around the outside of a tag, if you want the, uh, the outside edge to have a more intense colour, just drag the bottom of it across your ink pad. I'm doing this at an angle, so I hope you can see uh, the difference it makes. And once I've done this, I won't do the other one. I'll put this one beside the other one so you can see the contrast and see what you think. Just adds an extra depth of colour. If you want to add some extra interest to your tags, and if you have some little butterfly stamps as I do here, you can use them to ink on. These are um, Bees and Butterflies. This is a new release from Cardio Stamps. As you know, I love what they do. And uh, this is a, a three different sizes of little butterflies and bees and they're gorgeous. This is just my excuse to use them. I don't want them to be too dominant on my tag. I want them to be fairly subtle. So I'm going to do a second impression. And by second impression, what that means is you ink up the first impression and then you don't ink up your stamp again and you put it straight onto your project. And it comes out a little bit fainter, so it's just a hint of a butterfly. Whereas if I put it on using that strength of ink, it would have been a bit too overwhelming, I think. So I've done a big butterfly, I'll do a little butterfly. And I'll do the same on this one. I quite like it when butterflies go off the edge of the tag as well. I've got my words cut into strips ready to be added to my project and I'm going to use uh, this word here, reflections, on one of my tags and I'm going to use these two words here, dreaming of and I'm going to choose this word, still, stillness. So you see how you select the words to suit whatever feeling you're trying to create. And I think maybe I'll put this one here and I'll put this one here. I want to show you a couple of ways that you can make your words stand out. First of all, well, three ways maybe. <laughs> First of all, you can leave them white and then depending on the background colour that you've used on your stamp, uh, on your tag, they will uh, stand out more. 
So let's take white as, as a given and now I'll show you a couple of ways that you can switch them over so that they can either sink into the background of your tag like this it's very subtle or you can just colour around the outside so that you get the benefit of the white of the tag popping through but you still you can make them stand out I've got a brown coloured pen which is a slightly stronger brown than that used in the tag and I'm just colouring around the outside edge of this so that's that one and you can see how I've built up the phrase just using the bold words from the background sheet. Add a bit of thickness here. So that my sentiment on the bottom of my tag will read Dreaming of Stillness. The sentiments are glued down and now I've cut two more blank tags and I'm going to attach them, I'm going to glue them onto the back of these ones. There's two reasons for doing that. One is 160D is, is a really nice weight of paper for printing words onto but this is a tag and I want it to be a little bit more robust than 160. So I'm going to in effect double it up. I'm going to glue that onto the back there. The other reason for doing it is sometimes you can just see a little tiny patch of colour there. Sometimes with the iron pressing down the paint or the ink or the spray can come through on the reverse of this paper. So this covers it over and means that you've got a nice surface for writing on. The best clue I have found for gluing thinner pieces of paper together without wrinkling the paper or distorting it is uh, this Beacon 3 in 1 Advanced Craft Glue. I don't use it on everything, I use it quite sparingly and I only use it on projects where I don't want that wrinkling effect to come through. If you're using card of course, you um, there's less risk that um, gluing card on card will produce a wrinkle effect. So you can use a, a more standard glue, PBA, PVA glue. There we go. And because I've used the same dye, there's no white popping through from the back and that's far more sturdy. Those are our two tags finished and we've used the background words uh, for the background of the tag and we've also used the bolder words to create a nice, uh, a nice feeling to the tag. These are some more using lavender and other grasses and if you want to see how those effects were achieved in the original video I will post a link, I think it will appear up there. And then these are some smaller tags. You can see I hope just how effective using grasses and lavender is in producing really pretty pretty tags. I hope you found that useful. If you want to uh, buy the words, uh, the background words, just go to my Etsy store. I'll provide a link in the extra information below this video. I am going to follow up uh, in a future video with some ideas I have for using this specimen sheet as well, so watch out for that. In the meantime, thank you very much for your time. Thank you for watching and until we meet again, take care. <laughs>